lost contacts at this point of view. Okay, mm -hmm. let's start. <laughs> uh, so last oh. time uh, we divide the Zalitska topology on the spec A. Uh, it's divided by spec A. We divide the closed sets to be the one two set. That is the points inside spec A. Let's do, do a, uh, an easy example to remind us what, what does this look like. Uh, A is in one. Sorry, I have this question for the last talk. So why do you put square brackets? Why do you put P inside yeah, the square brackets? I didn't do that. It's some notation Vakili uses to, to the distinguish between points of spec A, not just the prime ideal. Okay. Just write this, it's not just point of spec A. Yeah, so uh, for the AC one, we can see that. Like this, all the points, and you have the steel. Uh, let's look at the steel first. Uh, if the steel is inside Vx, then that's the same thing as x is a subset of zero. That is the same thing as s is zero. Oh, s is empty. In any case, you have Vx is equal to the whole spec. I'm not sure if you use uh, S is empty, but I guess it doesn't matter because it's always equal to the S is zero case. And, and uh, let's say more general, uh, S could be. Some elements in the inner set, and if this happens, then Vx is equal to the intersection of all the uh, one set of, of those individual elements. And, and this is a uh, probably uh, we may talk, talk about this uh, in the last talk. Uh, if you have uh, Subjects, then Vx is equal to the intersection of those subjects. And uh, another property is that uh, If we have x1 inside s2 in the a, on the spec a you have the opposite division. The one two, of, uh, one two set of s2 is inside the one two set of s1. This v is a uh, inclusion inversion. So let's go back here. Uh, xi, s, each si since we are working on a, a complex number field, uh, we have this representation. Like this, and SI is equal to the uh, SI one is your prime, prime, uh, a prime ideal if it only has one of the factors, ones of that. So uh, that's the union of all these points. So the one is set of one, one element is the final union of points. And the general sets will be the intersection of some finite sets. That is another finite, finite set of points. So all these process on the AC1 are either the, the whole space or the final collection of points. Uh, it, it could be empty, let's say the V1. That would be empty. Since 
want to never bias. Uh, okay. Before we go to another example, uh, let's first do some uh, commensive algebra. And so we are going to define the radical. Uh, the reason is that uh, when we define this process, we use x for any subset of A, which is uncomfortable. <laughs> we want to use ideals because ideals are ideal. <laughs> and uh, not just any ideal, we, we use the radical ideal. So first we define the radical of an ideal i takes The radical of i is the subset such that R, uh, some power of, of R will be in the I. So let's just say, uh, let's be, to be X. And the reason we use the radical is because this uh, this is easy to prove. You can just see that uh, the power of R is inside of the prime ideal is only if R is in the prime ideal, the definition of the prime ideal. And uh, the radical ideal is an ideal such that I is equal to the radical itself. So, uh, so now we can see that instead of you uh, define the one step by x, we can define by the ideal generated by x. This is the same thing, and this is the same as the. So we have uh, some kind of representative of the x. Uh, let's say you can have many different sub uh, sex subset in the ring. to the one thing. The radical idea of all these things are generated by, by these elements. And uh, another thing we can, uh, we can uh, deduce from this radical is that uh, Vij equal to Vi in the set with J. So uh, one side is easy, it's just by ij. Uh, ij is subset of i, i uh, and subset of j, so this set will be a subset of this. And the other, another way is by So the square of this intersection with the subset of ij, and since we have uh, this, and we have this equality here. And uh, another property uh, is this. It's pretty easy to prove, and I'm not sure where we use this later, but uh, in another tutorial, we say uh, we use later. And another important proposition is this.
The radical of i is equal to the intersection of all the prime ideal that contain i. And uh, this can prove from the another uh, This can be proved uh, from another proposition we proved before. The new radical is the intersection of all the prime ideal inside A. Uh, have you talked about this before? I think, I think we talked about this before. Uh, to prove this, you just need to uh, portion the A by I. So who is R? R is the new radical. This we quotient A by I and and in A So this side is in the A, the I, this side is in A. So in A, uh, quotient by I, yeah, the new radical is equal to the all the uh, intersection of all the prime ideal. And in this side, you yeah, have uh, the new radical of, of, of this is equal to the radical of I. And Apply uh, a prime ideal in the uh, any prime ideal in here is a prime ideal that can be i in the a. So you have this. Uh, the reason uh, why we use this is that uh, if you have an i, i, you have some prime ideals. So this prime ideal will be the in the one instance set of i, and if you look at the intersection i, that is the radical of i. So the radical of i is the maximal set that can define. So so e i is equal to let's say in here is p one. The radical i is the maximal set that can defy this this uh, one instance set, and it is the all the functions that one is on this one instance set. We will define this notion uh, later. Another thing we can see from that proposition is that uh, if one f f one is on v i, the only f is inside the radical of i. We 
you can see this tree is a bad background. So a second uh, second example is the AC2. Again, when S is zero, Vs is just the whole space. one point in the two-dimensional space. And uh, if we use this, this will be more interesting. On this uh, y axis, and let's draw a generic point of this line. So, if we take s1 to x uh, on this, uh, on this then the one is that will be. You can have the, uh, this generic point. This generic point, uh, the x will vanish on this generic point, and it will also vanish on any any point on this line. Any point on this line. You got another element. The precise. You have a generic point and all the cross points in this line. And if you take the intersection, if you take the, uh, the intersection, by definition, it will be the, uh, the sum of these two ideals. That is. Ideal generated by these two elements, but we can cancel the x here. And that's the point in the intersection. Union, uh, if there is union, that's a signal. Here, joining by this product, you can also take a union of another point. Let's say here, uh, one one. Take the intersection with this. As the union of this, uh, the generic point, this, this two generic points, all the points in this two line, and this point. 
you can play, you can do this for forever. But I mean, finally for forever. <laughs> so all the all the closed set you can get uh, either the uh, the whole space empty set or some finite collection of points, a finite collection of and also finite collection of union uh, of the generic point and all the points in this in, on the line corresponding to that generic point. If we have topological space, we have maps of, of topological space. Uh, the first one is this. Uh, previously, it has shown that if you have, have a homomorphism of rings from B to A, you can induce a map of the spat space, but in the opposite direction. Since uh, we have a map of spec, we have a map of the, topolo to, uh, the topological space. Uh, we are going to see so, so that this map is continuous. Uh, to do this, uh, we can show that if, map, uh, if the image of a subset is closed, that subset is closed. Let's say we have a subset here. Remember that for every point in, in spec A, PI, the image of pi to here is the inverse image of the, this, 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 uh, this homomorphism of rings. And we can see that uh, if this is equal to Vx, a closed set, then this condition, x, This, this point one is on set of x is only if by x so this point here one is on x is only if One is on the image of S and the five. So this will be the same thing as the B. So if you make anything to a closed set, that will be a closed set. So pi is continuous. Uh, one thing to notice is that uh, this uh, not all the continuous map comes comes from this. The reason is that uh, you can see that the topological space, this Zalewski topology is pretty coarse. And you can see that uh, you have, we have described all the closed set on, on the AC2. There are just pretty small number of them <laughs> compared to the, to, the, uh, to the topology you usually use. And in fact, uh, the Zalewski topology is so bad that it's not even uh, house stove. Yeah, it's not half though, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's <laughs> ugly. <laughs> so since that you can construct some weird maps that's still continuous, but it's not come from this. 
And next, we are going to talk about subspace, subspace of the set A. If we take any ideal in, in A, and the canonical, uh, the canonical uh, homomorphism, uh, we have we have seen this before. from here to here and this is phi phi so the prior ideal in here is the same thing as the prior ideal in here that contain i and we can write it out So there is the one-to-one -one correspondence between the, the prior ideal here in, and the prior ideal in A such that I is inside P. But this is the same thing as Bi. So we can see that this map is actually an inclusion from this space to the Vi inside space A. Which means that this is uh, homomorphic to a closed set inside space A. Let's say uh, this S is uh, all the power of F. Again, we have a map from here to here, but this time. Uh, Previously, we have seen that uh, there's another partition between this, the prior ideal inside, uh, inside the localization of this, to the prior ideal such that f is not in the prior ideal. But this is the same thing as the prior ideal such that f do not vanish which is the open set that the complement of the vanishing set of F. So we have an injection from here to an open set of A, or of spec A. If take S to be a gen, in general, uh, some um, multiplication, uh, any subset that is closed under multiplication, you will still have this, but this time you will have, uh, instead of this, you will have uh, You have the prior ideal such that do not intersect with X. In this case, uh, it's in general, it's not open. It's not open of throws anymore. And this example is this. Uh, if we take. Uh, sorry, yeah. If we take that. And the X will we take it to the all the non zero elements in that. Q is a field, so the spec Q, uh, the spec Q will be only have will have only one element, which is not 
which in need of closed or open in the spec plan. We have seen all those three, uh, all those three types of substage, and another thing is that. The Zalinski topology of both subsets is equal to the subspace topology induced by the whole the topology <coughs> in the whole space. So, uh, which means that uh, let's say okay. which means that for say any closed set in here is the intersection. Of a, of a closed subset in the A in the set which is C. And set of this set AI you can see as the closed subset in A but you in the set which so, uh, so this one. you can see as the enterprise in the BS but you also in the set which I so which means that Also in the service this. A special case is that uh, you pay I Equal to the new radical uh, we see before. Since the new radical is the intersection of all the prior ideals, which means that the radical is one inch of all points. So if we take the, uh, this. inside all the prior ideal. So for all this all prior ideal this seems to hold. So this is the same thing as the Swiss space in step A. There's a digestion between these two. Uh, any questions so far? Uh, let's move on to our next topic, uh, probably the last topic of this term. Uh, we're going to define a phase of this Zariski topology. It's defined by the distinguished open subset.
So this subset is, is defined by the open, sub, uh, open set that is the complement of the VF. set of F, then BF is the dozen vanishing set of F. <laughs> We're going to show that uh, all this BF is from a base of the Zabisky topology. Uh, we show that a collection of open subsets from a base, we, uh, we only need to show, show that for any open set, it can be written as a union of this base. So let's look at any subset, any open set in the space. We have any closed set, complement that's the any open subset. But this set is equal all the prior ideas such that x is not a subset of p. If x is not a subset of p, that means that there is, is some x such that x there's some element in x such that x is not a p. That is the same thing as No one shown at P, then P is in the dozen minus set of X. So we can see that this is the same thing as X. Or the dozen minus set, the union of dozen minus set of the individual element in this subs in this subset. So we can see that this distinguished open subset form the base of the Zariski topology. This side, we can in that side. This is the same thing as the same thing of, of, of this we see before. So now we talk about an important property of this uh, of this, this distinguished open subsets. Uh, the following uh, equivalence. You have an open cover, uh, a cover of the space by these space elements. If we equivalent to the Fi, we generate the whole the whole ring.
is equivalent to the to this. You can write one as a linear definition of a f i by a i, but there's only finitely many many a i that's non-zero. All the others are zero. If you can't see why this is important, again we can write. So this is the same thing as we have a finite sum. Uh, if, you believe, if you believe that this is true, this two is equivalent, you can see that this two is equivalent. So we have a finite open cover of the whole space. So this thing is important because we can we can do partition of unity by the, this finite uh, finite open sets, a uh, finite open cover that is very important, very helpful uh, later. Uh, so these two are easy to see. If you believe this these two are equivalent, you can see that these two are also equivalent. This is also easy. If I have I general A the fi generate one. And if you can y one as this thing like this, you can y a a by multiply a on this side. So the problem is between these two, the current between these two. So two imply a because uh, so if you accept all of them, is it five already like? Except all of them, doesn't five already imply one? Which one? Like five. five. Uh, so I can be any intercept. So it's oh. probably not finite. Oh, okay. So the point is we find a finite cover from any cover. So uh, if this is not true, uh, the union of this is just a problem set, problem subset. We will have some. Uh, Some plan idea such that it's not in any any of this. But a plan idea is not in EF. It's the same thing as f is one is on p. So if, if if p is not in the union of this, that means p all f i all the f i will be p. But you can see the f i generate a. So p will be inside. So A will be inside P, which is impossible. Uh, another direction is by uh, if, if that is true, we have seen this. Uh, if that is true, that means uh, let's say fi is not p. Let's 
say uh, f5 is not generate a. If you generate idea, but it's a proper idea of a, then in this case we have f5 inside some maximal ideal. But maximal ideal is a prior ideal. We can see that f i inside p is equivalent to p is not in p f i. So which means that uh, this f f n will not be any of p f i. So n is not the union of fi that is a contradiction of to what so we have the curves of this so yeah that's the point we, I haven't said it I haven't addressed it clearly so the point of this equilibrium is that you have any open cover by the base element you have a finite cover There is some kind of compactness in here? You can, yeah. yeah, some kind yeah. of <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> okay. Thank no, you. No, no. Well, I'm just. I'm just saying that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Compact. Uh, compact requires that any open cover, but but now we we are firmly considered. Ah, uh, and here design. here you have very. Yeah. This is very specific yeah. open cover. Any specific okay. type of compact. If you have any open cover, then you can go to basic open cover. Yeah, that's true. And so you have to find a subcover of that, and then just keep the the original ones that. That contained your base yeah. elements. So yeah, if you, if you have compactness with respect to base, then yeah. so yeah, that's what this should be place. Yeah, so this tells us compactness is not going to be a very useful property topologically in our setting <laughs> because it's just true <laughs> for the affine yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I guess it and does come up later. Uh, the last thing we we'll talk about is this. Uh, in previously, uh, I'm going to erase that. Uh, we have seen this before. Uh, <laughs> and if we use the uh, the notion of the distinguished open set, we have a more a stronger. So these two statements are good, it's easy to see. Uh, so basically, Fn, G is immutable in A, it's the same thing as G equal to, to 1, this is the same thing as G A equal to Fn, or Fn is in G, Fn is in G. So for this part, uh, you can prove that this part is equal to this just algebraically. But uh, in the note, uh, let me give a pretty beautiful proof by all geometry. <laughs> so uh, if it is, if it is not extra, we can, we can give a quick example. Uh, F is x, y, g is s squared. At the first class, you, you can't see any uh, 
population between these two. So you can see that uh, the one-inch set of x, y is both the s edges and y edges, but for the g, it's only the y edges. So we can see that d s y is inside the x square and s y square. So how to say this more geometrically? Uh, we can see that one is equivalent to This is the same thing as this, and this is the same thing as So this is the same thing as that. If G is inside any prior ideal, then F is inside that prior ideal. remove geometric statement of all this equivalent statement. F will vanish on the closed set, so the vanishing set of G. that B G is equal to so at this point, at this point the partition between these two. of f under this conductor map to be f bar. We can see that f is vanish on vg Vanish on VG if only if FF bar is vanish on this whole space, the whole space of it, uh, of that A uh, cosine by G. But this means that F all the prior ideal in this spec, which is the same thing as the new radical of A and this is the same thing as Vertical 
by definition means that some power of n f is zero in this in this ring. But this is equivalent to f. G F the power of F is in G inside A. So that is the second statement. Another thing we can see from this. Huh? By the way, sure on time for you. Oh, okay. okay, we can just finish it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.